We're going to make a Domo Jack-O-Lantern today, and if it's your first time, these are the tools that we're going to be needing. A stencil, permanent marker, pumpkin carver, scooper, and a small candle. And if this is your first time, I suggest you all still get a first aid kit. You never know. You might lose a finger. If you're not familiar with Domo's dimensions, just check the link below and you'll be able to find this stencil online, but right now I'm just going to freehand draw on this pumpkin. So, take the pumpkin, lay it down, make sure the good side is facing up so you want the pretty side of the Domo to show. And here we go. So I'm going to do one eye. It doesn't have to be totally accurate because it's just try to get the eye as even as possible. It's okay if it looks a little cockeyed. The like I said, the surface isn't round, so it's okay. It's a little, little droopy. And also, just like a fun, fun fact or tip, that Domo's mouth, the end of the Domo's mouth lines up with the center of each of his eyes. So you can use that as a rough outline to where you need to draw. So here are Domo's eyes with one line right under the center of his left eye, my right, and under his right eye, my left. Here we go. And I'm just going to connect it. And just keep in mind, Domo only has eight teeth in total, four in the top, four in the bottom. So I guess you one tooth here, one tooth here. Perfect. And then here. right now we have the outline of Domo's face. What do you think, Domo? You like it? Domo. So right now we're gonna get start. <laughs> we're gonna start with the cutting. So what you need to do when you cut the top, make sure you cut at an angle all the way around. Try not to go like vertical because if you happen to come all the way, it's gonna fall through, so you're not gonna have a hat for Domo. Alright, so now we got the top off. We could just pop it off. You see the little goodies inside? We want those out. And be sure to have a trash can right nearby. Let's get on to the face. What we'd like you to do is maybe lay the pumpkin on its side. And like what you did to the top, just carve away. Now the eyes are complete. Now we're heading on to the mouth. So what you like to do, start from the inside. Basically, we're just going to cut the inside of the mouth, the, the part where it's not colored in black. You can see that mouth is already cut out. And the teeth are black. You can leave them black if you like, but I would... I'm just scraping the black off just to give them give them more dimension. Just get a butter knife and just slowly start shading the black off. Ah, uh, the double jack-o'-lantern is complete. What do you guys think? You like it, Domo?